Morning, y'all. Hehe, <laughs> I made him do it. <laughs> And we're off. Baby's already in the vehicle, waiting for Arlen to load. I like that. I was straightening up my shirt and she starts filming. <laughs> I'm like, my stomach's hanging out. I didn't see anything. I don't know. I am very self-conscious about my stomach hanging out. It might be just that I'm crazy. I don't know. But I try to take and <laughs> be civilized looking. Especially on vlogs. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. We gotta get going. Arlen has doctor's appointments in Grand Rapids and I have to stop and get paperwork on the way home from the OB's office that says that I'm on maternity leave. Sounds like a plan, Stan, huh? I'm so great at that. Guess what, guys? She forgot to turn off the camera again. I picked it up, I go, why is my screen on on the back? No, 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 he went. And I do. I was in trouble. In, in my brain, I was like, oh, why is my screen on in the back? Yeah, I figured it out why. Glad I picked it up so our battery wasn't dead. Nothing worse than a, a vlogger with a dead battery on their camera. But well, we have chargers. Yes, we do have a charger, but I don't want to have to spend all day long having it on the charger. Oh. I do know one thing though, watching our YouTube person that we watch on, YouTuber on YouTube, that just sounds weird. Anyways, Charles Trippy, he lost his drone the other day. And that I makes me know. when, when I get, because eventually I want to get the new Phantom 3, that definitely makes me not want to use the uh, follow me feature because it decided to take off and just land in some random yard and he never could find it. So my guess is that somebody picked it up and decided, hey, look, I have a new drone. Uh, that would suck. Because those things are not cheap at all. <laughs> so what are you guys doing today? Anything? Anything fun? Us, we're just spending our day in doctor's offices. Never know. Since we're getting out there, might be able to get something fun to do or something like that. Not get my paperwork. Get your paperwork? figure out what this lady wanted from my clear figure out what the lady wanted from the uh, care link place that sells the new power chairs that I'm looking at hopefully she goes do you get are you guys in the area could you come down to get sized for one and uh, maybe hopefully get one to pick up that would be wonderful where are you gonna put it you gonna ride at home from Grand Rapids? Yes, I will. <laughs> I will drive that all the way back to Gowan. Could you imagine that? Just passing some guy in the power chair that's I for one, I wouldn't make it all the way home. The battery would die. Two, I'd probably just look like one of those crazy people. And that would be a correct assumption. I am a crazy person. So Miss Aurora has this adorable- Hold up. I just realized that the camera's still in narrow mode, so this whole vlog was probably all jacked. Ugh, me. 
Hold on a minute, I will fix this. There, is that better? I think so. So the reason why it was a narrow mode is because we were giving, we were trying to like record us giving Aurora her first bath, like physical bath in the sink with a cup versus just a washcloth. I would say we were successful with giving her a bath, but not so much of filming her. Filming it was horrible. For one, I kept getting Jin's arm in the way and everything else. I'm just like, this is going to be footage just for us because it does not, or it did not turn out at all. Phew. Yeah, that smells like someone smoking some pot. Because <laughs> that is not a scum. They have a sign right there at Reese's Country Corner and it says Pink and Frillo's and the building was actually sold because there's now a sold sign. So that building, they finally switched it from the Reese's Country Corner to a something. I don't know what it Pink is. Pink and Frillo's is what the sign said. Whatever that is. It, it might be a floral shop maybe now? I don't, I don't know. know. We'll figure it out when they open. Okay, so Sean's Aunt Carol got Aurora two bows. One is black with white, and then the other one is a giant flower. And when we first got Aurora, I put the one, the big bow one, the black and white one, on her noggin. It looked so goofy because her head was so small. And now it looks halfway normal. She's actually got it on today. We'll have to show you what she looks like today. That game, Super Mario Maker, is freaking amazing. Can't wait to take and show you guys when we take and actually use the Elgato and record some gameplay but the only thing that I don't like is that right out of the box you don't get everything you gotta wait like nine days or something like that oh well I'm still having fun with what I have for the moment and supposedly today it unlocks some more features some more elements to be able to put into my levels but I am going crazy building. It's a lot, a lot of fun. I love this phone line. Okay, we'll line whatever this line yeah. is. Yeah. Forgot all about it. There is a ton of foliage all the way across on that telephone line. I told Jen if it was a power line, that would not work because the stuff would eventually catch fire, I think. But I'm not positive. I'm not an electrician, so I do not know the answer to that one. It was poison ivy. Well, yeah, it's still foliage. Um, but yeah, no, the game is really cool. And last night, I just because the levels just felt really short that I was creating. I'm going, can he not ex like make the levels, you know? longer and last night I finally figured out that hey you can extend the levels to make it ridiculously long like how some of them are in the video game in the original video games so that definitely made me very happy because now I can actually make the bigger levels that I wanted to create eventually here like I said once we get the full feeling for the game we will show you guys with the Elgato it will be fun because she barely plays video games with me and it'll be fun to actually play a game with her hey I played video games the day before I had Aurora right we played Mortal Kombat yeah. but we didn't record it no. I wish that we did because it was a lot of fun which was bizarre for me, but I took it and I liked it and I wish that we recorded it because that is a very rare item that we do. Bet you guys missed that. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I, like we've said before. Really? We're always. Sorry. People pulling out in front of us don't mind us. No, they parked in the middle of the road. Well, I know. They were literally 
stop right in the middle of the road. Don't miss this town at all. Do not miss it all. The long, the short, and the tall. We're from the country and this is not something that we <laughs> like to be packed into, but being that we have doctor's appointments all the freaking time, we're down here. It's all good though, because at least there's things down here that we can do that, I mean, yeah, the driving stresses you out because it's so cluster f but you got to do it right. Might as well take it in strides and that Jeep <laughs> didn't seem like that guy knew how to drive his Jeep. It just kept jerking. We're back at that one spot. Remember the last time that we parked right here? Let's see if somebody parks right next to us again today. Because <laughs> last time somebody parked right next to us and we couldn't get into the vehicle and we had to back out and get in that way. Uh, never fails. <laughs> Apparently City Life, the marked lines in the parking area means something completely different than where we're from. And of course it is a beautiful day today. Barely any clouds in the sky, and it's actually nice and cool out, and the wind is probably killing the volume on the vlog. Try to block it. How's that? Any better? Maybe, maybe not. I do know one thing though, ever since having a kid, you get totally different like attention people are always wanting to see for one the baby and then for two going oh they're so cute congratulations guys which is really cool it's nice to be you know people acknowledging you like that and then on the other you're going wow nobody everyone always looked at as way differently before we were actually parents but it's cool look at the centerpiece this place goes all out if only baby centerpieces the coolest someone seems to be content nothing blows my mind more than going into a bathroom that does not have a diaper changing station in it. I had to change her diaper just now on a chair. Luckily I had her receiving blanket with me, so her back and stuff totally wasn't chilly at all. For sitting here at Arlen's doctor's appointment, I'm not 100% sure if Sean's already said that, but yeah, this is where we're at for time being. I'll be here maybe five minutes, 10 minutes longest. Um, his doctor is usually really, really speedy and quick when it comes to getting him in and out. So we'll have to see how things go, but I'm gonna call Mary right now. Come on, pack it all in. And one, two. See how fast this elevator opens. Usually it takes forever. Oh, this one's actually pretty fast. Rock out. Ah, done with the doctors and not sure if we're just gonna go home or if there's anything else that we're doing here in wonderful Grand Rapids. Not sure yet. We'll figure it out and let everybody know. Either way, let's see. And nobody actually parked next to us. So bonus, we get to actually get in the vehicle normally it's always funny how you have to wonder if somebody's gonna take and oh yeah forgot that Jen's sitting back there Shoot. 
almost got hit, guys. You've seen that, probably. Done. Ah, well, y'all's here. All right, gonna pack it into the van and figure out what we're gonna do, guys. That building is the one that, remember how, like, it was all jacked up and, like, you had to, like, turn and, like, part of the road was all blocked off and everything? It was because of that building. They're moving along pretty fast. I mean, that's only been, what, since beginning of summer since they started that? Um, no, they've been, they've been working on it a long, long time. But from finishing it, I would say, well, you know, the exterior as far as, like, letting us, like, pull over on the whole side of the road. Right. I would say maybe since, like, July-ish. Yeah, but, but it didn't was, take them that long to build it. Well, the building was there. I just think they were redoing it. I know they were. They did quite a bit to it. Yeah, a lot. I know what I'm trying to say, but it's not coming out of my head exactly how I want it to say and I'm still not sure 100% what we're doing right now. I know that we still gotta go to Meyer and that. Surprise, surprise, we gotta go to a store. I have to go. I know we gotta go pick up your paperwork. Yes, and I really want some chicken tenders from somewhere. Some chicken tenders from somewhere. Yes, I don't know where, but chicken tenders and big old thing of ranch sounds so good right now. I think that lady is yelling at her passenger. Really? Because she's like all up in their grill at the red light like this. Not anymore, but she was. And now she's like pouting off to the, her window. Yeah, I like, think I that. Can't do this right I now. think they're fighting. <laughs> Seems like they're fighting. Well, we were fighting in the parking lot, but that's because that parking lot is so stressful. Yeah, I told you life's way too short to stress no, out. No, I told you that earlier. <laughs> and I just took and told you that in that parking lot, didn't I? Kind of. Yes, I did. You just told me that I stress you out from stressing out. Right, that's still me telling you that life's too short oh, to stress this. out. Of course, you guys know we always end up having to hit the store because even though that we pick up groceries, like yesterday we picked up groceries, we always forget like half of the stuff even though we have a list. Apparently half of the stuff didn't get on the list that we no. needed. What? Except for... What happened is because, okay, we're going to have healthy wraps one night this week for dinner, and yeah. it's lunch meat. You don't want to get the lunch meat. Well, yeah, I, we but we didn't it. take and pick up the wraps. No, I forgot the wraps. Dad's stuff wasn't the, there, the turkey, the turkey legs. legs. There. But see, but there's also a couple things like, hey, we forgot that we needed cheese for the wraps. Yeah, and I don't want to get the corn <laughs> like four days early like we right. did the last time because the one time it was gross. But still, half of the stuff didn't make it on the list, yeah. and we forgot it. More so, salad stuff. So we have to hit the store again. It's okay. I love M Perks. <laughs> M Perks are amazing. Like I have a ton right now and I'm saving them. And if you guys don't know what M Perks is, it is a reward system for at shopping the, tons of money. for shopping at Myers, our grocery store. It is very, very cool and I don't know why we didn't do it when they first started it. We did. No, we didn't, because you go, I don't want to sign up for that, oh. because it's a credit card, and it wasn't a credit well, card. Well, they weren't very good at explaining it at first. <laughs> but yeah, we've saved like almost $3,100 this year, total, with sale items, and perks, and perks coupons, coupons, points that we saved for M perks. That's a ton of money. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. But yeah, so we gotta go to the store. Don't judge us, guys. Don't judge us, please. <laughs> There's more right there in front of us, too. All the birds are heading south for the winter. Now you know it's definitely the end of summer. I mean, summer's already like the official day was like what like a week ago um just a few days ago i thought just a few days ago but yeah that was pretty cool just all those birds flying around kind of reminded me of alfred hitchcock's birds reminded your dad of it too 
Ready? Hi, Fred. If you guys don't know, the guy that started Meyer, he died, what, like, how many years ago? A few. A few years ago, and he's actually buried right there at the Frederick Meyer Garden. That was his pride and joy was that uh, Meyer Garden. So he wanted, that was his wish to be there. There are statues, and every spring they have butterflies. They have different rooms with different flowers and types of trees, and they hold summer concerts there. And it's pretty neat. Hi, Felicia. Hi. I uh, said bye, Felicia, to her when she walked in, and I'm like, why didn't I vlog that? That would have been <laughs> funny. Paperwork got in. Got your paperwork? Mm-hmm. And it says six weeks. Dang it. This is a fish I could not go back till October 4th, <laughs> the earliest. Darn. Uh, oh, well, you get to spend time with us, the fam. That's cute. He finished... Okay. He built this paperwork out on the 10th. Yeah. And they called me on Friday afternoon telling me that it was done. Now we just gotta fax it. Yep, let me fax it from here, okay? Go in and fax <laughs> it. Can we use the fax machine today? Oh, is that the new fax machine? Yeah. Bzzz. Yeah, um, Arlen has devastating news too. <laughs> Arlen has extremely devastating news as I'm smiling because it's not quite that devastating. So, the main guy for the, um, home renovating type the VA. stuff from the VA called today and asked Erlen again if he could set up a meeting time mind you this is the second time and they said at the end of August, August here it's the like almost the end of September that they would be at the house meaning him and the um, construction guy that they would be at the house to have the meeting with him at the end of August originally they called up him this morning and asked if he could do it Erlen said nope I'm done so guess what that means Bob Felicia, we leaving. And then the contractor also tried calling, and Dad's like, I'm done. He never calls. He never, he, for one, he never calls. For two, he never gets back of hold of us when we do call him on a timely manner. So Dad just goes, I'm done. I'm proud of Heck him. Heck with it. So, like we told you guys, we've officially said that we're going to move to someplace warmer and eventually we will take and tell you guys where we're heading to but right now we're just looking and figuring out where we want to go new mexico viva las vegas hawaii california nevada michigan, michigan? <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna leave michigan to go to michigan New York City. That's not warmer. Caribbean. Aruba. Mm -hmm. That I've sounds that sounds like Nassau. a that definitely sounds like an awesome place to move to. Europe. These are all that still that. gets cold. <laughs> I'd be okay. I'd be in Europe. <laughs> so there is a rock up here that is pretty neat. Ever since I can remember, I mean, they've had it painted up like Snoopy. I think that's pretty cool and I like what was it, your French teacher? Yes. She only knew how to get to Grand Rapids by turning at the Snoopy Rock. Wasn't lying. Painted up like Snoopy. Snoopy. I mean, I'm not sure if they they chiseled it to look like a dog or if it just formed that way, but it's pretty cool. And we are heading to Greenville right now because we decided that we did not want to take and hang around Grand Rapids anymore today on a Monday. Just people always seem like they're in a bad mood on Mondays. 
you don't want to hang out in Grand Rapids on any day unless you go to the mall. Right. Hey, welcome to Big Boy. That's right, guys. We are eating at Big Boy's again. It's the only place in town that we really care for. I mean, there is a couple other ones, but this place is quick, cheap, and it actually has good food. So why not eat at a place that you always get good food? Makes sense to me. And this wind is killing me today. Every time I turn around, it decides to pick up whenever I'm vlogging. But let's get inside, guys, and get some grub. And I figured that I would spare you the whole, you know, us showing you the food and everything else, you know. But then I thought, <laughs> no. You guys still got to see our food. I do not know why I do that to myself because my food, I literally only ate couple onion rings and a couple pieces of the chicken. Meh. I always tell myself don't get it and I got it anyways. I should have just went with the burger. The, the lot better for me. Yeah it's not the healthiest thing in the world but it was better than those greasy freaking chicken uh, tenders. There we go. Next time I'll just get one of their sam like either their whole wheat sandwich or uh, one of the wraps. So what I said before, not everything is the greatest here. I mean, a lot of food is good here, but I always forget, hey, you don't like their chicken tenders because all the grease and everything. Should have listened to my brain. I don't know what he was complaining about, but if he didn't like the food, that's his own fault. Ow! I liked my chicken tenders and onion rings. They must have just changed the grease because the onion rings weren't gross like they usually are. Alright, I guess I have to make her a bottle because she's going to start freaking if I don't. Less than $24, guys, to fill up. Not bad, not bad. If you couldn't, if you couldn't tell, gas is $1.92 a gallon. Even better. So hopefully it continues to go down because I like that a lot. Finally out of mire. That felt like it took forever. Two seconds in their mind. In their mind, yes. Literally one second. But in ours, nope, took forever. I don't know why either. Like, we didn't really get that much stuff. It just... Well, then Huffin in the middle of you decided to call the doctor's office. True. Otherwise, we put him out a lot sooner. That is true. But they closed at 5, so I wanted to get it done and over with. So, we got everything that we needed and probably a little bit more. And now we're just on our way home because I'm exhausted just because that's how I've been feeling ever since that lady never gave me my full treatment. My brain gets like mush. Why didn't she give you your full treatment? I don't know why she didn't. Like I still had like that much in the, uh, like you know how it drips down into that little well, vial the piece? There was still like that much left. And that's a lot of treatment left. We go back This in time Friday. around, which is Friday, which I can't wait because if they have the same person, we're going to ask for a different nurse because she always sticks me in the wrong spots in my arm. And even though I tell her, hey, by the way, it never works there. You never can get it right there. Do it right here. And then she goes, Oh, why don't you remind me every time? I'm like, I do remind you, and you still do it anyways. So, that's what Friday is. And like I said, I can't wait because I keep feeling like crap. Oops. 
So, and I do have like a small clip of how I felt the other day because I was going to vlog and then I just felt like crap. I'll probably put a small piece of that in here just so you guys can see how I feel when my brain decides to do that to myself. Sorry guys. My stupid stuff is affecting the way that I'm feeling today. Main reason is because they didn't give me all my treatment last month. I still had like probably about half a vial left still in the uh, infusion line. So I feel like total crap today. Not very fun at all. And now I get to go edit because I haven't finished that up yet. Because I started it last night and never got a chance to finish it up. So, got to process it today. That's alright, I will get the video up. And it will be able to be viewed today. Just got to take and do a lot because I we shot a ton of clips on Friday. And I didn't edit through the weekend because I was working with a buddy of mine. Because we are starting to do programming again. Because all my therapists and doctors told me, Hey, uh, we want you to keep doing what you do, but just not hold a 9 to 5, which I told you that beforehand. So now, like I said, we started last weekend programming, and from here on out, we're going to take the weekends and program. So, Saturday and Sundays we won't be vlogging. Highly apologize unless something comes up where we're doing something interesting, then we will vlog. Other than that, I'm, I'm going to take the weekends and do programming with my buddy. And when we get apps coming out, we will let you guys know that, hey, by the way, we, we pushed this app to the store. So yeah, it all be pretty fun and see what we come up with. Look what I found. It looks really big on camera. It's really not that big. What's a little itty bitty bird's nest? It was just like thrown on the ground. What's that from? Sure, uh, from when we did the oh. snakes. Firework! Slightly burnt. That's pretty amazing. That mark is still on the ground from when me and Jaden did the those little uh, little kid like kind of fireworks from back in the day. So that's still there from July, and now we're sitting on what August, uh, September, September 14th? 14th. Pretty crazy. Uh huh. You drunk kitty? <laughs> Have we ever showed her showed what she does with the printer? I don't know, but that involves me going to coupons.com and picking out coupons to show. You love couponing. So does Vinky. <laughs> Vinky loves couponing. Our cat is ridiculous with the printer. We'll show here in a few minutes. I have the fax paperwork. Because it's freaking ridiculous. I don't know if we've ever shown it in the vlog, but we'll show it again tonight. And of course, guess what I did again, guys? I was pressing on the wrong side of the camera. You would think, I've had this camera over like almost a year now. You would think that I would know what side is the button. I always forget, and I end up pressing on the other side going why is this not turning up well i did it again yeah yeah i'll take it out because yeah oh my gosh it's been going this entire time so you got me saying yeah 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 <laughs> what a turd okay so obviously we've been gone all day long you guys have been able to track this in the vlog 
And so we got home and of course, first thing I do is check the messages just to see, you know, who called. Well, Billy Bob, Joe, Biden, Mary, and Joseph called. Not really the people that really called, but there were eight messages. And one of them was Miss Aurora's doctor. So when newborns are born, they're done, or like they do blood work to test for like different things that obviously only show up in your blood work. And our nurse told us that typically the doctors don't call when they have the stuff in unless it's bad. So we get a message today on the answering machine that says, hey, this is the nurse's office, or this is the nurse at the doctor's office. Give us a call back. We would like to go over some stuff with you. So I've been sitting here mm, about an hour dreading this phone call that I'd have to do in the morning. So then, and Sean has too. So then I get online and I get a hold of the nurse that we had in the hospital, whose name was Katie, by the way, she was absolutely amazing. And she suggested that I call. So I called and luckily I had seven minutes to spare. There was somebody still in the office. So she was able to give me the results. Everything came back normal. So we've both been like sitting here in fear that there was gonna be something wrong with our child and it's all okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong, which I am so thankful for. And he's totally bombing me right now. I guess I get what I deserve because I do it to him all the time, don't Log I? Log bombing. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that's what's going on. Everything's absolutely fine. Our child would probably make everybody think that we don't feed her, but let me tell you what. She eats a ton during the day. But then she doesn't eat at night. Like, I can't even force feed her at night to, like, wake her up. So I let her wake up on her own in the middle of the night. And if she's hungry and she wants to eat, great. I'll feed her. In fact, every night I take, like, four or five bottles to bed with me of formula. And then, obviously, I have, like, water in there with me already. And then the little crap head only eats, like, maybe one or two. But, yeah, like I said, she eats, like, a little piglet during the day. Isn't that right? And then, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, cover you guys up from now on. What a meanie head. Meh. As you guys can see, editing. What did I do with the phone? I don't know what you did with the phone. Aurora, what did mom do? But this battery is dead, yeah. and as you guys can see, I've been. Well, that one's fully charged. But this battery, I thought I grabbed the charged one, and nope, grabbed the wrong one. So I gotta put this battery on the charger, and then pull this one and put it in the camera. Story of a vlogger's life. Everyone out there that vlog is... Vlog is? Vlog is? Everyone out there that vlogs knows exactly what I'm talking about. And I guess we'll call it vlog is from now on. Jen served up some awesome food. She made homemade sweet potato fries. And then made us some wraps for dinner. Mm. I did say that. So yeah, I was trying to eat my meal. The sweet potato fries are amazing. My wrap right now, can't tell you. Because Jen forgot and left like the paper on the cheese. So I'm sitting there biting into it. I'm going, huh, that's weird. I'm awesome. <laughs> She starts laughing at me. I'm like, I wondered why this was so tough to chew. Could be that I went back to my grade school days and I was eating paper. Paper. They took a giant bite out of. Let's take a bite out of crime by taking a bite out of paper. And that's Printer Kitty. I told you she loves the printer. <laughs> For one, that Jen almost broke my toe because she was bending my foot and she was pressing on my toes, not my foot. And she went flying forward and bent my little toe backwards. Yeah. That hurt. Their toes. And he has no spasticity, so it's not my fault. And then dad was said, oh, 
well, I'll send you to a padded room. I'm like, I'll send you to a padded room. He's like, well, I'll just take and spend all my money on those men with the crisp white coats that put you in a straitjacket. And I'm like, sure, if I said something to you about you saying, hey, I'll send you to a padded room, you would have been all like, hey, man, so yeah because basically if I say anything he gives me attitude but I can't give him attitude back just like when they say something that I have a tone and I tell them that they have a tone let me tell you what I get scolded because I have a tone and they don't have a tone Houston we have a problem so we're sitting here watching Shaytards and um, Shay is going on and on and on about how this woman has a zit on her chin. Guess what? I have a zit right here and I'm trying to dry it out with toothpaste. And I was sitting here and I looked over Sean and I'm like, I just realized that I've been vlogging and I have toothpaste on my face to dry out a zit on my cheek. He's like, oh, that's so funny. No, no, it's not. It's quite embarrassing. Anyways. Whatever time of day, y'all so are... I love you, Jen. That's a really crappy looking heart. I mark. know. <laughs> I'm trying to flatten it out here. It's Started like this, and then we'll flatten it out. So, there we go. Oh, my husband. Better. That's a better Ooh. heart. We still love you, Jen. I'm hoping tomorrow... And they all still love you, Jen. I'm hoping we all can get some sleep tomorrow. Well, tonight. I know Aurora will let us leave. Feed her a bottle and a half before we go to bed so she's getting three ounces. Pfft. She's out for the night. It's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> Anyways, whatever time of day you guys are all watching this, we hope you guys have a good one. Have a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening, great... Whole day. Whatever it is for you guys right now. Because, well... And I'm supposed to be the one closing this, and he just did it for me from afar. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good one. Bye. Bye. That was my thumb bed thing. So how about now? Bye. <laughs> how awesome is that? Finally. Last time we were here, they didn't have that shirt, and she was like all really bummed. But now they have it, so she finally gets her oh shirt. God, that is awesome. That is freaking amazing. She gets her tie-dye cashier. See, good things are coming to us today.